Intellectual Decisions on Environmental Awareness Solutions, or IDEAS, is an organization that started at the University of Central Florida in 2008 to help reach the climate action goals set by University President John Hitt. The president's climate commitment proposed that UCF would be carbon neutral by 2050. IDEAS continues to work hard to achieve that goal for the university as well as the community at large. One of their current projects, converting unused public space into organic hydroponic gardens. So today we're out at Sahib Aquaponics Farm. It's a uh, installation of a sustainable agricultural method that we're doing here in Winter Park. And what we've done is partnered up with Sahib um, to turn the waste space of a shopping center into a food oasis. Aquaponics is so important because it brings people into the realm of being able to farm who never thought that they would be able to, and in far less land than they ever thought possible. Also, Aquaponics ends up using about 10% of the water of traditional gardening does, and you're able to establish a closed-loop sustainable system that just keeps producing. There's a few ingredients that you need, and Pretty much the rest is up to your own interpretation with whatever materials you have. You mainly need a container, you need water, you need a pump for circulation, and you need nutrients. We have various different systems of aquaponics, vermaponics, uh, raised bed organic gardening, and, and others that basically we use as a test bed so that we can bring people out here on a monthly basis, give them tours, and then also help to develop different aquaponic and vermaponic systems for the community. Break some have a taste of it. We got invited to work on this project at the WRCC where we were installing raised garden beds and in the beginning of that project Jessica from the U.S. Green Business Council had asked if we could install a vermaponic system. We're introducing two totally different types of gardening methods. An aquaponics unit, uh, which we're calling vermaponics because instead of fish we're using worms, and also uh, the traditional kind of raised bed gardens. This project is really appealing because it's my first project that I got to work on designing and building and installing my own system and I think it's really important to spread awareness about growing your own food, especially in this type of environment where a lot of the people here wouldn't necessarily think about it. The vision of you know, revitalizing the WRCC to incorporate green building practices as well as sustainable agricultural methods is a, is a huge deal and we're, we're also seeing that the women and the children want this. Through coming in and doing this project we've had quite a few of the residents get really excited. They're always coming up and asking questions and being like, oh so when can we start eating the produce that's in there? We don't just want to put in a garden and leave because after all there is this disconnect of food there. People don't know how to take care of a garden, and when the vegetables grow, they don't necessarily even know what to do with them in many cases. What we're trying to do is incorporate, you know, diversity within the food with, that are going to be growing in these beds, and also teach the women and the children, you know, at this rehab center, um, not only how to grow these different types of foods, but how to turn that food into, you know, a meal. Having this kind of dual approach to try to uh, show them that producing their own food is very cheap, after all, the poorest people in the world are subsistence farmers. So it's not a difficult thing to get into if you know what you're doing. And that's what we're all about. It's really nice to be able to come in, do the system, and see it make a difference in other people's lives. IDEAS continues to be a model for educating and inspiring youth as it has expanded to 50 chapters in 15 countries. The organization was even accredited by the United Nations in 2012.